Welcome to 7 Trumpets Prepper and in this video today I'm going to show you what thermoelectric power is and I'm going to take you step by step through the process. So let's take a look at it now. So to begin this process we've got a couple components to really have a good workshop here. To begin with is this little thermoelectric plate. Now what this is is actually a thermo cooler and it will cool things but heated up the polarity reverses and it produces power. Now what I'm going to do is we're going to have our hot side and I'm protecting this plate with a normal pot so I'll place it in it just like so and then we're going to pull the leads out away from the heat and keep it up away from the hot source and I'm going to run that through the end of this pot just the little D-ring there to keep it up away from getting damaged. Then we're going to take a pot of cold water we're going to center this up on that just like so. So now we've got our leads up protected out of the way. Now a lot of people may be asking themselves that have seen certain things like the uh, bio light stove and the power pot and other things hey this kind of looks a lot like it. Well it's the same principle but what we're going to do with this on this channel is go for charging our battery bank. That's the goal in the end is to make so much power that we're actually charging a battery bank. But in order to do that, you first have got to understand the concept of how to even make the power. So what we've got here is our grill surface thermometer. And this is also the one that I've used on the gasifier in the past to make sure that I'm getting up to 451 degrees so that I'm actually making wood gas. So what I'll do is I'm going to set it on the surface. And what this will do in conjunction with my multimeter is it will tell me how much heat is needed on this particular plate to make X amount of power. Now once I know that, then at that point I'll show you in another video how to create even more power by using more plates. So with that said, I'm going to heat this up and then we'll move to the next portion. Now as this begins to heat up and we're actually starting to make voltage, and I'll show you here in just a moment on the multimeter, this is how thermoelectricity works. This is 101 thermoelectric power. Is you have a hot side for that pelter plate that I showed you just a moment ago. You have a cool side which keeps it cool. The electrons passing through that are agitated then. It begins to create power. Where this would usually consume a lot of power to make coolness, it only produces about mm, somewhere about 5 to 8 percent output power. So in other words, if the thing only it took 500 watts to make power, then you're only going to get back, you know, maybe 50 watts or you know less than 50 watts actually yeah it would be less than 50 watts because that would be 10 percent so you're going to only make about 30 40 watts but a couple of these wired together will give you your voltage that you need for instance right here we're going to check the leads and we are making almost three volts okay so actually we're making a little over three volts so now what we would do then and that only took it 200 degrees to get to 200 degrees I'll actually show you right here on the thermometer if it will zoom into it and we will spin that around like so so that you can see let's see there. turn this down just a little bit so it only takes it about 200 to 250 um, degrees to start making power and that's great because that will work on a wood stove, that will work on just about any uh, heating surface that you want, a fireplace or whatever. So at that point now you know that off a particular plate, this one here will make three volts. So now what we need to do, and I'll show you in another video as I've said, is we'll show you how to then link more of these together to make you power. Now this can work great in an emergency situation to give you power because thermo coolers are in many many different items and I'll put a list of those things that you can repurpose these from in the event of an emergency or a disaster and uh, the list of things you can pull some of these out of your household uh, items in your kitchen and so on and this could save your life one day so we'll let this heat for just a little bit longer I'm gonna check it one more time on a little cooler temperature and see what we've got then Okay, now I've turned the oven down to a setting of two. So that's barely any heat applied at all on the cooking surface of my particular stove. And I'm getting a output of 3.1 volts. So that means, in a nutshell, that it takes very minimal heat 
to make power using one of these thermo cooler plates. Now three volts obviously will charge nothing and that's why in another video we'll focus more on wiring things in series. But the great thing about it is, is with something like this, you can make heat and you can make power in a very sustainable, easy way uh, using materials and heating surfaces that you already have. So guys, I uh, hope that this is a help to you. I hope this gets you interested in thermoelectric power. It is a viable option for prepping, and I think it is a definite means for the future. In the second part of this video series, I'm going to show you now how to wire those in series. Now, this is important because this will get you the voltage you need to get up to actually charging your battery bank. Now, keep in mind, though, working with electricity can be dangerous, and it can kill you. This is something not to be toyed with, and you should always be very careful whenever using these things. Ever since Fukushima happened in Japan, it's had me thinking that thermoelectric power needs to be produced in a lot cleaner and a lot safer way. Nuclear fusion and nuclear technology is something that humanity has abused and not used properly. I think it's time that people actually take charge of electric production in their own lives, and not only that, but show humanity that it can be done in a clean, safe, and effective way. And that's what we intend to do here at Seven Trumpets Prepper Channel. So make sure and visit us in part two of this series, and I hope it's educational to you. And until we see you again, I hope you have a most blessed day in Yahushua name.